New York City is home to over 300 bird species. But with all those people, cars, and buildings, the city can be a dangerous place for a little bird. Yet New York is the only major metropolis in the United States that doesn't have a wildlife rehabilitation center. Now, that's about to change. We're trying to help make the difference to at least have some place kind-hearted New Yorkers can come to to bring those animals when they are in distress and they are in very much in distress. Hi, I'm Rita McMahon for the Wild Bird Fund. In her quiet Upper West Side apartment, Rita manages the Wild Bird Fund. Along with help from volunteers, she is currently rehabilitating around 70 wild birds. New York is a fabulous oasis on the East Coast Flyway in amidst these high-rise buildings and, and skyscrapers. Over 350 species live here or pass through here on migration, and they run an obstacle course. We do so much to these guys. We hurt them. We, we, we are the 90% of our cases are due to humans, whether the litter, the cars, the buildings, or whatever. So we got to do something to make up. An estimated 1 million pigeons live in the city, though the Wild Bird Fund treats a plethora of species. Egrets, warblers, red-tailed hawks, turkeys, hummingbirds, woodcocks, kinglets, Canada geese, and laughing gulls, to name a few, regularly find their way to the Wild Bird Fund. You say, why birds? It's because that's mostly what we have here. We do get other mammals, and we deal with them from woodchucks, beavers, um, squirrels, of course, and opossums, chipmunks. That's about it. The Wild Bird Fund partners with two veterinary clinics. Since its creation about nine years ago, the Wild Bird Fund has rehabilitated approximately 7,000 birds. It's a rare situation that an Animal Hospital, Animal General, and the Center for Avian and Exotic Medicine came forward to say, we'll help you do this. So as far as a rehabber goes, I have more resources than most any, which is just fabulous. People are often very attached to the feathery patients they bring to Rita. Birds kind of just can come to me, find me all the time. First injured pigeon I found, uh, I absolutely had no idea what to do with. And I thought I could just take it to any regular shelter and they would, you know, fix it. But uh, in New York, you know, has this uh, kind of really negative attitude towards pigeons. So they consider pests, not real wildlife. They, you know, they would just automatically kill them. You know, I didn't carry this pigeon around for like all this time to have it killed. So I was determined to find a, a way of helping it along. And in the numerous searches I did, this place came up. This one is a little stressed out. Uh, basically, it was uh, about a foot away from the entrance to my building. I saw that it had uh, wounds like it was bit by a dog, and it was still bleeding. Uh, so I took her in. The Wild Bird Fund will soon have a home of its own. The new building will feature a glass-walled operating room, an infinity pool for waterfowl, and an educational theater for community events. The center is completely donation funded, mostly from private individuals. We have rented a storefront, it's a landmark storefront just across the street from Animal General and the Center for Avian and Exotic Medicine. And we're paying a higher rent, but we are maintaining that high level gold standard medical care because we have two veterinary hospitals that are supporting us. So the doctors could not come trotting over to give free advice if we were off in Brooklyn. The work can be overwhelming at times, though the rewards of helping animals ultimately make it worthwhile. We're uh, going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really been hard lately. And that's, that's yeah. really. It's um, the way you keep going. It's it's almost it's two part. You have the people who come in with that bird, and they looked at that bird on the street, and they said, "I had to help it. I couldn't leave it there." And they come in, and they are entirely wrapped up in that bird. And then it's the bird, and the bird looks at you, it might want to bite you, uh, it's screaming at you, but they are fascinating creatures. They are fabulous creatures, and it's pretty pretty neat when you get to release them. The Wild Bird Fund is projected to open this December.